All right, what's up, DVW fam? So we are still in Vegas at the Venetian, and today we're going to a steakhouse. You guys have requested this in the comment section. We're going to STK Steakhouse, the steakhouse at the Cosmopolitan. Apparently, it's supposed to be like a lounge steakhouse, so we're a little bit dressed up here. So yeah, let's go get some STK. <laughs> All right, DVW fam, so we just got to the STK Steakhouse at Cosmopolitan. Most of the video is gonna be like this, very close, so I can really talk to you guys, because this is definitely the loudest steakhouse I've been in. There's literally a DJ up there. I feel like I'm in a club right now. But that's the vibe of the STK Steakhouse. It's like a steakhouse, lounge, kind of club, fusion. So yeah, it's a little bit different, but they are still a steakhouse in Las Vegas, so we're gonna give you guys a little review right now. But yeah, they market themselves that way. It's, they say that it's not your dad's average steakhouse, so it's not old school. If you guys like going to the club, like going to the bars, and you love food and steak, I feel like this is the place to be. But yeah, we're gonna get some steak and show you guys what's up for the STK Steakhouse of Cosmopolitan. Stay tuned. All right, so he asked what my first impressions are. My first impressions are it's pretty trendy, very vibey. Um, kind of reminds me of a lounge, so we'll see how the food is. It'll be great if it has good vibes and good food, so we'll see. All right, so this is our house-made bread. It has blue cheese topping and yuzu olive oil. Blue cheese butter on top. Blue cheese topped bread with um, olive oil and chai. That's very unique. I really like it. The butter, olive oil is really salty with the chai. It's kind of just like a, that sour cream and onion ruffle in a bread form. This is so good. This, you know what? This is a spiced watermelon margarita. I don't know if you've ever had like these Mexican candies that have like the watermelon candy and then the spicy chili on the outside. It tastes like just like that. It's so good. Right, so this place is kind of like a club, so you got to get a drink, a cocktail. I guess that's what they're known for. There's a full-on bar over there. This is the El Toro Rojo, which is Volcan, tequila, Campari, fever tree, grapefruit, and fresh wine. Pretty minty, very neutral flavor. It's not as sweet as Leia's. But yeah, if you guys like that minty taste. But yeah, the cocktails are $22 each here. Yes, yeah, kind of average for Vegas, but you kind of got to get a cocktail here because I feel like I'm in like a club, so you got to get a drink. Salud de mi familia. Cheers. All right, so this is our first appetizer. It's a jalapeno pickle, shrimp cocktails, nice and chilled for us. See the jalapenos on there. I'm going to use my hands, go savage mode with it. Dip it in some cocktail sauce. Salud to me, familia. Mm. Nice and crunchy, fresh, chilled. You definitely taste that jalapeno spice on there. That's the different factor within this shrimp cocktail. You can taste that jalapeno. And a nice shrimp cocktail, nice cocktail sauce. It's pretty good. Huge, 34 ounces, and we got the lobster mac and cheese. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty loud in here, but I like to dance, and they're playing a lot of bangers, so I can't stop dancing while I was waiting for my food. So it's not boring here. If you guys don't like long wait, you guys are having fun on your way listening to this music. It's a lot of hip hop, EDM, a lot of modern, contemporary music. So let's turn up and try the steak. I'm just gonna try one piece of steak, tell you guys how it is, and then we're gonna give you guys a whole summary at the end of the video. Mm, that steak is very tender, very juicy, very fatty. I mean, it is a bone and ribeye, but I like how juicy and fatty it is. Very tender, but it's not too flavorful. It could use a little bit more flavor, but it is a wet age one, not dry age. But pretty good steak. It is expensive though, so we do expect that it should be good. All right. I'm gonna go in and try this. It looks really juicy, so let's try it. Perfectly cooked. I like it. Lobster mac and cheese. Really good. Let's try it. The lobster the cheese flavor in the mac is super strong, so it's good. Really strong cheese. Lobster is really big chunks. It's really good. Alright, I'm gonna try lobster mac and cheese right here. Visually it looks like there's a lot of lobster. I mean that's very important for lobster mac and cheese. 
and cheese. Nice and red tints in the lobster. Mac and cheese. Right off. Okay, there's actually real big pieces of lobster tail in here, so they do honor the lobster mac and cheese. It's pretty good. A lot of lobster in there, but I dig it. It's good. Alright, y'all, so we are back in our room at the Palazzo. You guys see the views in the back of the wind encore. Uh, yeah, so we just came back from the STK Steakhouse. Gonna give you guys some finishing thoughts because it was very loud in there, so we couldn't give you guys a full-on dialogue. What do you think about the steak? <laughs> <laughs> steak, STK. I I actually really loved it. I've been wanting to go there, and it's been on my list for a while, and it did not disappoint me like at all. Not only was the vibes good, like the music and the DJ, everything was really good, but also um, the food was really good. So the steak was good, our dessert, the lobster mac. So when you have places like that where they're trendy you kind of sometimes expect for the food to kind of be a letdown. But in this case, I enjoyed my experience like all around. So. But you know what? I will say that if you don't like music like while you're eating and you kind of want to go to a sit down where you can talk and chat, this is not the place for you. It's more of a like uh, a fun lounge mm -hmm. um, kind of setting. So two stars for me. I liked it. So it's a mixed review for me. First impressions are pretty important. I thought it was very loud in there. I almost thought it was obnoxious at one point, but then the night went on and they actually started playing some bangers and pop songs, Dua Lipa, hip hop. It was really cool. So personally, I liked that. They were playing good music, um, but it's kind of like a hit or miss because I know some people like to conversate at a steakhouse. So I think it's a cool place to bring a date, you like to dance, uh, want to hear music while you eat. But if you guys want to have like a deep conversation, you can't really hear much of anything when you're in there. I had a shout to really talk and we were pretty close together. And also another kind of downside I would say is it was pretty cramped. Like we we're elbow to elbow with the people that were sitting next to us and the dude next to us did not know how to cut a steak. You got to puncture the steak and slowly carve it. Yeah, so it was pretty small in there and so it had like a club atmosphere if you guys don't like that. I personally didn't mind that, like I said, because they were playing some pretty good music. And they market it as a not your dad's steakhouse. Not so, your daddy's yeah. steakhouse. Steakhouse. So they want to be, you know, modern, more modern, but... trendy rather than classic. But I actually really enjoyed the steak there. We got the bone and ribeye. It was very tender, very juicy. Um, I'll, yeah, it was actually really good. The dessert wasn't that great. I think I've had better pizookis before, but it was decent. Yeah. yeah, so the food, I give it an A. I really like the food there. And it was kind of on the pricey side for a steakhouse, but it wasn't too crazy, but you kind of expect that for a steakhouse. So DVW score overall, I'll give it like an 8.5 out of 10. I personally enjoyed it, but you know, it's kind of like a hit or miss depending on what you're looking for in a steakhouse. Absolutely. I agree with that score. I'd even maybe give it a 9 because I really enjoy like vibing to music as I'm eating and like it's just fun you're in Vegas and at the Cosmo yeah. it's very like chic and so I think you kind of expect that restaurant to kind of tie into the theme so it was great I liked it yep all right guys this is the Cosmo on a Saturday super trendy super chic chic so we just finished our dinner at the STK Steakhouse it was a vibe so yeah guys like the video please like it comment down below some recommendations for us subscribe for more free vlogs deuces, deuces. <laughs>